What's up everyone, Babyface McGee here. I want to introduce you to the Fractal Design Define C. This is a mid-sized case. It has seven PCIe slots. It's actually not too, uh, I guess, long, I should say, but it is fairly wide and it has excellent cable management. Uh, we're gonna throw a custom loop into this chassis right here. But first, just gonna spit a little knowledge at you for those interested in this case. Like I said, it's beautifully designed, has excellent cable management. I think it's gonna look really good once we have all the other components inside of it. Heck, it looks really good just sitting there by itself. I'm very glad that Fractal's included a basement this time around. It's not as wide, not as big as the Define S, but the Define C is still a solid choice and it's also very affordable. Linked in the video description if you're interested. So, kind of a case review here up front. Uh, you can support up to a 360 millimeter rad up front, also a 280 mil rad, of course, the respective fan sizes. Up top, it looks like a 280 rad or two 120 fans, so a 240 rad as well. Uh, and then the back support for a single 120 millimeter fan radiator combo, whatever you want. I thought this was really cool, similar to how competitors deal with power supply insertion. Right here, you get your little power supply bracket. Also here, the signature Fractal Design Cable Management System. This is actually a, just popped in a little more, so you have extra cable management space in the back, so you can put that back panel on with ease. Two large rubber grommeted cutouts, so you can write your 24 pin, USB 3.0 SATA, the works on this side. Onto the back here, as you can see, very clean, plenty of space for all your cables to be routed from the left side here. You have a large SSD tray up top, which is actually removable with a simple thumb screw, very nice. I love this. I think all case manufacturers should follow suit here. And plenty of space down below. Now, it does include a hard drive tray. I took that out because obviously we'll be water cooling, like I said, so we're not going to need that. I, I actually don't use hard drives, period, so we'll just put an SSD up here, uh, and that should be it. Uh, apart from that, I mean, it's, it's just a basic back panel, whatever you want to call it, uh, configuration. Two more rubber grommets up top for 24 pin access, maybe some fan cables and stuff coming through here. And uh, I don't know, that's really about it. Oh, if you're worried about, I don't know, dust or anything like that, you have, let's see, this one here. This one goes in the front, so it just clips in very nicely. And then we also have the one for the bottom right here, slides across the entire uh, bottom section of the case. So dust is pretty much a non-issue here. If you want to mount fans up top, you can also remove, these are kind of like little modular panels. Oh God, I can't get that off. Anyway, this top part is removable and you can replace it with the included uh, just dust filter up top. It's magnetic. So if you want to mount fans up here, that shouldn't be a problem at all. So plans for this build, just kind of in a nutshell, involve a single 360 mil rad on the far right. I'm gonna put two GTX 1080s in here, an SLI. It's the same config I used in Blue Sky. Check out this video right here for more details. And then I'm also gonna stuff the beautiful Design Air Gigabyte Z270X motherboard, uh, which is a all silver uh, motherboard. Even the PCB, like all of it is completely silver. I also have that video right here. I keep pointing the videos and videos, I'm sorry. But the theme of this build is going to be silver, obviously, with a hint of purple. I think that purple fluid is going to look pretty dang dope in here with silver accents. Everything else, for the most part, is going to be black. I think I'm going to just black these out. I don't know why Fractal chooses white, uh, just PCI bracket slots, things. I don't know why they do that. Uh, but we're probably going to paint these black, maybe silver. I don't know. I have some silver paint, silver metallic paint. I don't know if that's going to be overkill or not. And then we'll put black fans here black fans here with the uh, 360 mil rad. And I think we're gonna end up mounting the reservoir up top this way. I think that's the only place it's really gonna work. Uh, I also have a very special set of cables sent over by Tony from Virility. Check out his channel, linked in the video description. The dude uh, actually is really good at making cables. He's hooked us up multiple times here in the studio. So give him a big shout out, subscribe to his channel. Uh, he will greatly appreciate it. I mean, just look at how sexy these cables are. So the silver is gonna match the silver piece of the motherboard and the purple hopefully is going to match the fluid at least close enough you'll get the idea it's going to be purple it looks kind of blue in the camera but it is a very deep purple in real life so uh that's it this is literally the color scheme in the 24 pin and we're going to emulate that in the rest of the build we've got a lot to do here in part one let's go ahead and get started i hope you enjoy the tech porn
Now for the RAM, I've chosen G-Skill Trident Z RGB DDR4 DIMMs. These are beautiful, uh, I'll say that first off, but they are going to cost you a pretty penny. They're not cheap by any means, I'm not going to try to sugarcoat that. You will pay, This is in this case here, it's a it's an 8x4 kit, so 32 gigabytes here. This will cost you well over 100 US dollars, maybe even upwards of 200 bucks. It just depends on where you find them, at what point in time. You know, memory is pretty expensive nowadays because people are working on uh, 10 nanometer processes and the, just the supply of uh, these modules is pretty pretty slim right now so I still recommend these if you are all about looks and performance both are included in these modules here so I think they're gonna look beautiful in uh, in this case Let's all take a moment to appreciate the fact that there are billions of transistors packed into this die right here. That is insane. It's really weird. It's as light as a potato chip. There's so much power in here. Just mind-blowing. All right, and here we are. This will be the end of part one. Basically, everything is in here except for the tubing, and that's just, you know, that's a video in itself just because uh, I expect we're going to have some difficult bends. I say that about every custom loop build we put together, but kind of a tight squeeze over here, that's for sure. So the pump is uh, just sitting right here underneath this opening here in the uh, on the basement. Very nice that Fractal included that, so it is uh, custom loop friendly, even though it is kind of a... It's not a very long case, so there is not much space between the graphics card, and both of them, and the uh, front rat. Also, something else we'll have to tackle, we're going to have to put the fans on the outside, which means that our dust filter, which normally sits here, will not, won't fit. I mean, we can't do that, so I think I'm going to have to cut out some maybe like dust filter screen and tr try to line that around the case. Something, I don't know, we'll come up with some something to, to mitigate the dust problem uh, that will be inevitable if we don't <laughs> install the one that comes with the case. I think what we're going to do with the loop, we're going to start, well not start here, but so we're going to connect down, should be straight up, then we're going to go up and to here. Now we're going to want the reservoir to feed the pump directly. So we're gonna have to have a really long piece of pipe probably come down here and then somehow make its way over here. That that piece is gonna be extremely long and I'm pretty sure that uh, we're gonna have to redo that a couple times. And then of course we have to worry about <laughs> the radiator up here. Sorry, it's not focusing very well, but uh, we have two openings up top we have to worry about as well. So we have to include the rat in the loop, uh, obviously. That is uh, pretty much it though, we're gonna call it quits for the day. I wanna emphasize, I love this case. This case is freaking awesome. It, it just, it looks beautiful. It's so friendly to build in. 
I'm actually, you know, if this was a tempered glass, uh, Define C, I think this would probably be my favorite case, period. Uh, it's easier to build in than the NZXT S340 uh, Elite and just regular S340, um, and I think it looks better than both the S340 and the P400. That's just my personal opinion, but uh, you can kind of conclude for yourself what you think about this case. So that's where I'm going to end it for now. This is the end of part one. Stay tuned for part two. I expect it will only be a two-part series, so that's, that's good. I'm not going to drag it out like we used to. This is Science Studio. Thanks for building with us.